Thanks for everyone joining the build. Um, let's, before we officially start, let's talk about what Dataverse is and what solution we are trying to solve through this demo. So Dataverse is a cloud-based data platform that is running behind the entire Dynamics application, which means all your data from the Power Apps, Dynamics apps like sales, customer service, or Power Automate, all the data was stored in Dataverse. So which means here we are talking about the real business data. That is the data that's like running 24 hours, seven days. Uh, for a single organization, there will be hundreds of GB of the data. There will be millions of the records. There will be trillions of the activities. So now the issue here is like how we can help the users from different backgrounds, from different asks, to get the data efficiently. So from here, you will see several quick real demo across all different products, but all going to be boosted by the Dataverse Unify Search. What did the result? So um, let's go to the demo first. So um, before going to the demo, let's quickly talk about the sample data I prepared for this demo. Um, assume you are an owner for a donor shop. You're running a business on top of that. You are come with like three tables. One table called um, product information table. This table, um, you will have, let's see. Um, you will have some text data like the product name, descriptions. You will have some numeric data like price, calories rating. And you also have some unstructured data. Like, for example, you will have attachment of, about your recipes. And be, besides that, um, you will have some other data, for example, you will have a donut order data. It will include in both online and offline orders for your business. Um, you will have some customer's review data that is including some multi land text columns, which storing all the feedback you are getting from your product. Quite surprised. So, uh, okay, it takes some time to refresh. Uh, let's quickly go to um, the application. So you have two applications, all building based on these three tables. You have one donor shop main management app, which contains all the order. You have another one which is only specific for the online order. So now let's talk about the search. So um, the basic search you can think of, that is a keyword search. You are searching for a keyword. You are getting a sub exact matching record you are looking for. So let's see, like, I'm going to this um, donut shop. I can do the search. Let's see, like, I'm doing the donuts. The first thing most important is, like, you need to support fuzzy match. Every time I'm not going to type in the exact things, I'm going to, for example, here, I'm missing one character, but I can still get the results. Um, but think of that. In a real business, when you're running a donut shop, you are typing, searching donuts. What you're going to get, you're going to get millions of the records with donuts. So another topic we want to bring here is like you need to get some better relevance re-ranking. You want to have the most related records showing at the top. So here you will see like if I go to the product information page, the apple cider donuts showing at the top because I recently updated that record. But let's see like if I'm going to the chocolate filled record, I change some kind of price, I change some of the calories, I hit save. I checking about, for example, I checking about the orders that is related to these donuts, all these things, or like I'm checking like if there's any customers review related to that, and I save them close. So it takes some times to refresh the cache, but after that, ideally, uh, we will have seen a better ranking uh, for the chocolate filled donuts compared with the rest of them. And there's another scenario we are talking here is like you have two apps. But these two apps are using the same table. But for the online order table, you only want to see the order that is online, that placed online, right? You don't want to see the in-store orders. So let's see, like if I'm searching something like uh, a name like Jack, in my main donut shop, I will see like five donuts order from Jack. But if I'm searching something like Jack over here, if this is an online order, I will only see three. So you can think of like net net. The way we think like to improve your keyword search experience is by one, supporting the fuzzy match. Second, to improve our relevance re ranking model. The third is to narrow down the scope of the data manually. Um, 
Now let's move into the next. So um, sometimes you, do, you don't just want to get one single record. You want to get a set of the record. Um, then it comes with a data exploration agent. So from here, you can type in something in the natural language. For example, say, um, let's see. Why is it? Show me um, online. Oh, so this is, sorry, I need to go to a different app. So this app is called My Donut Shop. It contains all the uh, orders. So then I can ask a question like, OK, show me um, online order in October. Yes. By using this natural language, you will be able to see that it applies some kind of certain rules on top of this view. It says like online order equal to yes. The date is within this range to give you the right results. And you can do some visualization on top of it. For example, you say like visualize it um, based on total revenue um, group by um, product. True. I made it. Yeah. So like, so um, after I apply the filter, you should be able to see. Okay, um, I'm can visualize it to get some quick insight. But let's see. If I want to see some distribution, I can just ask to the uh, change to pie chart. Oh no, it's. So it changed to the pie chart, and it can tell me chocolate filled donut is a place in a dominant role in the online order in October. It takes about nearly 50% of the uh, contribution, right? So you can think one prerequisite for you to using this data exploration agent is you need to create a view, and you need to understand the schema. You need to know what kind of filter you want to apply. So the next step we want to see, like we can actually extend it. We can simplify it a little bit and extend it to unstructured data. So here I can add all these three tables. Online, online review tables, product information tables, and donuts order tables, all in MCS. The same, the same table I'm using. And from here, I can ask a question saying, like, I don't need to understand the schema. I can ask a question like, OK, uh, which donut sold least? Where I'm taking? OK, let me refresh the page. Send me the mail. Oh, there is that. Thanks. But it's like, like. So ideally, these natural language questions will be transferred into a SQL statement, then perform a query. And this SQL, SQL statement is going to be our aggregation SQL, so it can give you some numbers. So let's see here. So it can detect that, OK, so maple bacon donuts um, only sold like six units. So from there here, you do not need to understand the schema. You do not need to know the table. As a regular employee, you can just ask these simple questions. Now, think of another scenario. I'm a new employee joining the company. I want to get the instruction. Did you remember like in the product information, we have an attachment called recipes, right? You can ask a question like, OK, what is the um, baking instruction for these donuts? Ideally, it will search your added knowledge and try to find that attachment and doing a summarize for you. So you can see here, it will give you a list of the procedure based on that recipe um, and as a guidance. Or you can ask something really specific. Let's say, like, okay, what is the um, baking temperature? So, okay. OK, it can tell you that from the files. OK, so now let's go back to the search. So did you remember like I, um, I like changed the chocolate filled chocolate like donuts? And I'm now performing the uh, search again. Let's see if I, these things can be changed. OK, I think it still takes some time to refresh the change. Um, but let's move to the next topic. So you have all these things. And now let's talk about the future. 
the future is about MCP, all the things. And now the Dataverse search is being used as a tool in the MCP server. So uh, let me start from a new chat. From here, you will be see uh, in the Dataverse, we will provide a list of tool, and search is just one part of it, so that cloud can access your data. And we can ask a question, let's say uh, we have the feedback about the maple bacon donut. So we can ask, say, um, um, sorry. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> we can ask a question like super general questions. We ask them like, okay, so find some learning we got from the customers and see if you can help me to improve my recipes. You can see he's listing a list of the knowledge that we have built in the, within the Dataverse, trying to retrieve some information. For example, you can see here, right, he's picking about this online customer's review. So this is the right table to pick. Uh, it takes some time. So you can see he's trying to explore all the data that we provided in the Dataverse to come with a report. Solution what? Uh, yeah. So I, uh, yeah, yeah. So he's trying to summarize the feedback we got from the customers. And based on that, and also it provides all these kind of like product information, seeing all this information, and then based on that, it will provide some recommendation on how you're improving your recipes. So I think we have time to do another demo. So let's try another one, saying, mm, okay, I have online order and offline orders. So let's see if we can help us to prepare and compare these two orders two type of orders and give me some kind of insight on what is the next step I need to take for my business. Thank you. Markets. Thank you. Ben. It's now. So the beauty for the MCP here is like, you do not need to really guide the MCP what they need to do to do all these things. You just list out the tool uh, to the MCP, he will try to explore all the data. Uh, I know we're kind of running out of time, so uh, while it is running in the back end, let's quickly share about something um, Interesting. First of all, uh, we are having a breakout session to talking about how Dataverse work with MCP. That was started uh, three minutes ago, so still have time to go there. And we also have two lab sessions, one scheduled later today, one scheduled tomorrow. Um, this will be talking about more on the knowledge side, and also we will be uh, available in the um, expert meetup um, booth uh, 1220. So let's see. It still takes some time to um, finish the compiling. So it seems like it finished all the data retrieval. Now it is trying to analyze it by through the JavaScript.
Yeah, man, it's it. You know, they still tell me it. Okay, I think we are kind of running out of time, but I will be available at the booth. So for anyone who got interested, um, please join and come to see the result. Thank you.